Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a solution that I had for a recent client. And the issue was how can I repeat a list of labels a number of times based on the quantities I have in another column and those quantities vary for each one of the items on the list. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of, in this case, seven different fruits and quantities of each one. And what I want to do is generate in column D a list that will have apple five times, peach three times, pear once, orange twice, etc. So in order to do this, we're just going to use a basic VLOOKUP function, but we need to add a helper column. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a column here in column A, and I'm just going to call it helper. And just so it looks better, I'm just going to format it like the other column here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 1 here, and then below that I'm going to say equals this plus the number of labels that I need for that one. And then I'm just going to copy it down, and I need to copy it down one more than the list that I have. Then I'll go over to the column where I want to generate these repeated labels, and I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. And my lookup value is going to be row 1, 1, comma. My table array is going to be this range here, and I'm going to lock it by hitting F4. And I want to look in column 2, close my parentheses, hit Enter, and it has Apple. And as I copy it down, I'm just going to copy it all the way down to the bottom here. You'll see I have apple repeats five times, peach three times, pear once, orange twice, melon, etc. So it's repeated those values the number of times that I have in column C for my quantity. So how does this work? Well, it's very simple. First, you can see in my helper column, I took, again, entered a one here, and then entered one plus the quantity of items that I need for the item above and just carry that down. So what VLOOKUP does, and notice in VLOOKUP, in my range lookup here, you have an option for either a true or false or approximate or exact match. And if you leave that blank, Excel by default will use the approximate match. So it's looking up in this case, my lookup value, row 1, 1, which will resolve to a 1. Here it resolves to a 2, a 3, etc. So here it's looking up a 1 in this data range here. And in the first one, it found a 1 and returned Apple. Here it's looking up a 2. Well, with an approximate match, if it doesn't find a match, it will go back to the previous value that was less than what the um, lookup is. So in this case, it looks for a 2 in this list. It goes down, gets a 6. Well, 6 is greater than, so it goes back to the previous one and returns what was in column 2 for the number 1, which is Apple. So it couldn't find a 3, a 4, a 5. But when it got here, it's looking up a 6. It did find a 6, so it returned Peach. And again, 7 it wouldn't find, 8 it wouldn't find, but a 9 it would and returned pair. So that's how it was able to repeat those values a multiple number of times. Now let's say you wanted to create a scenario where you can add more items to this list and have it automatically generate in the column here. Well, to do that, I would recommend strongly converting this to a table. So I'm going to hit Control T and hit Enter, and now it's converted this to a table. Now I have to adjust my range here. I'm going to highlight this and change and re-highlight the table, and notice it converts it to Table 5 Helper Column to Fruit Column, and I'm going to hit Enter. Then I'm going to copy that down. And the reason I converted it to a table is so that as I expand the table, it would automatically expand the table array or the lookup range that the lookup will look into. If not, I would have to manually adjust that range every time. So now, let's say I want to add another. I would go to this area here 
and hit tab, then go back up, type say banana, and hit three, and notice it automatically added banana three times to my list. Again, if I hit that, went back up, maybe I'll just type fruit and put twice, and it automatically added fruit down here. Now, the only other thing you might want to do is get rid of, let's say you wanted to extend this down so you can continuously add to it, but you didn't want to have the zeros here. So what I'm going to do is enter an if function, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, and I'm going to copy it. Now, I'll say equals if, if this equals zero, then give me a blank. If not, I'm going to paste that formula again, close my parentheses, hit enter, and again, copy that down. And now those zeros have disappeared at the bottom, and it looks a little cleaner, but I can still add more here. And let's say uh, nectarine and three or four times. And again, it added that at the bottom. So that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy Excelling.